Welcome back to the channel guys in this video I will be showing you how to delegate a regular mailbox and a mailbox without license so uh, account that belonged to an uh, employee a user who's who had left the company was offboarded but some other or person who's replacing them would need access to all their previous mail uh, and also would like to receive all the all the new emails and view them and respond to them uh, in those situations you can just delegate a mailbox to the new user and then the the new email shows up in their outlook so i'm just going to show you how to do that quickly here um, just going to open up a new incognito log into the m365 test account i have by visiting portal.microsoft.com and this is just a test tenant i have signed up it's a free trial account just to demonstrate all right and we are logged in so we are in the admin center 365 admin center here and we're just going to go to the user section here quickly uh, let me show you how you could delegate a regular mailbox. So, for example, let's say Alex is going on a vacation and you want AJ to be able to view his emails, his entire mailbox, which would include inbox, sent items, everything. And you want him to basically have full access to Alex mailbox in his Outlook so he can respond, monitor and, you know, Keep a keep an uh, eye on his uh, mailbox while he's on uh, vacation. So you do that by going to the account who needs to be delegated. So we are delegating Alex to AJ. So Alex's account will show up in AJ's Outlook along with his own. Okay. So we're gonna go to the mail section here. Click on. So we you got three options here to select from. Uh, since I said. AJ will be getting full access to Alex's mailbox. The best option to go with is this one here. It's called read and manage permission. As it says, these users can read emails in Alex uh, Weber's mailbox. So basically full access takes 60 minutes to take effect. So just be mindful of that. So we're going to find the user who would need access to Alex mailbox and that is going to be AJ. Just for demonstration, it doesn't really, it's not really, it's not real. And it shouldn't be take long and that's, that's it. It's saved now and if now AJ checks his Outlook app, after 60 minutes or so, he will see Alex Wilbur's mailbox alongside his own, okay? So that's how you do a delegation for regular mailbox. Now, let's say there is a user who has left the company, is off-boarded now, doesn't have an actual license uh, like Alex had. He doesn't have a license. However, you would like AJ to still see all his new incoming emails and also have a history of all the previous email. And again, we can do delegation in those scenario. And you do that by finding the accounts. So, if a user was offboarded, let's say, let's offboard Chase here real quickly, okay? So Chase, Sandy, uh, oh, we can't because it's an external account. Let's find a regular account. So this one is a regular account. Diego is a regular account with a valid license. He is active. However, Diego has retired or, you know, is switching company and they they need to be offboarded. In that case, what you do is you remove their license to save cost. However, before doing that, we want to convert this account to a shared mailbox. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll hit, we'll go to the mail section. We'll click on convert to shared mailbox. It gives you a brief of what's going to happen, but we'll just go ahead and click on convert. Shouldn't take too long here. Again, we are converting to shared mailbox before removing the license. If we, if we were to remove the license first, this entire option for mail would have disappeared because it's the license which gives you the mailbox so always make sure you convert the account to shared mailbox first 
before you remove the license so since we did that we are gonna remove the license hit save now this user won't be able to send emails with this account however this e this email account will still receive new emails and uh, all their previous data is still saved uh, now going back to our original scenario where we wanted AJ to have access to Diego's mailbox even though he has left the company uh, we are back to that now okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to teams and groups we will find that shared mailbox under shared mailbox section and you can see Diego is there now we'll just click on that the name here and on the right side oh, we can see again there is three options similar to what we had with Alex uh, since we want to give full access to AJ uh, we're just, just going to go to read and manage and we'll give or we'll just you know give AJ access to Diego's mailbox and that's it that's how you do it now again AJ after 60 minutes if he closes or opens his outlook again on the computer he's gonna see another mailbox show up uh, and that would belong to Diego and yeah that's how you do it that's how you delegate a regular mailbox and a shared mailbox without a license